<laughs> that was perfect, yeah. Perfect! My name is Michael Ryan, and I'm an animation writer. My name is Mitch Watson, and I'm an animation writer and producer. Let's see, um... Freakazoid was a show, uh, Pinky and the Brain. Dexter's Laboratory, Power of Girls. Duckman, uh, God the Devil and Bob. Johnny Bravo. Um, Cow and Chicken. Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated, which I, Mikey and I did together. Um, Mucha Lucha. Mucha Lucha, sorry. Which is where I actually first met Mike. Beware the Batman uh, at Warner Brothers. A show called Tack and the Power of Juju. A show called Cat Scratch. The way I always have approached it is I'm looking for something um, slightly unique about the voice. It could even be a voice that sounds like other voices, but there's something interesting about it. Uh, I'll give you an example of when we were casting Batman. Um, when we were looking for a Batman at Warner Brothers, we were, I don't even know, we, we knew he was going to be a younger Batman, around 23 or so. Um, Kevin Conroy was awesome, but his voice was just a little, it sounded a little too old for the range that we were looking for. So we pretty much started from scratch, looking around, looking around, looking around, and all of a sudden we got, we got this one guy who sent in an audition thing, and his voice was just, it, there was something different about it. It was, still sounded like Batman, but it was, he had a different tone and a different quality to his voice, like a different timbre. That's what I look for. Don't hurt your brain trying to understand. Also, there's a, a great level of kind of emotion that you need, and I find that that because in animation the, the faces don't always animate with a lot of muscles or dexterity, so you don't get all the human elements that we have, what we need when we speak. So when you get a voice actor who can bring all the different kind of emotions into that face, into that to the microphone, uh, I think that coupled with kind of the uniqueness, is, it really it makes for a good sound you know, of an actor. I think. We try to think of somebody ahead of time when we're writing brand new characters because it just helps in terms of the casting because once we go, once the sides or the script goes to the casting department, the first question they always have is, what do you guys think, you know, for this particular voice? So we tend to try to write them with somebody, you know, a particular voice in mind. If they're recurring characters, it's great because for me personally, uh, once I get the voice in my ear, it helps me so much because then I can try and try and pretend to think like that actor's gonna say it. You know, like we have different, our, our lead does several different voices. And you try and sound like Danny when he's doing King Julian. I am a king, I do not have time to waste on light bulbs. The same advice I give writers is be passionate about what you do. Really want to do it. You have to, it has to come from your heart. It has to be something you really want to do because it's going to have a lot of ups and downs in it. It's going to have a lot of near misses. It's going to have a lot of hard work and it's going to have a lot of moments where you're like, I still got that gig. And then you didn't get it. You're like, ah, ha, ha, ha. you know, so it's the same as writing. It's a, if you're putting yourself out there and you have to do it 120%. You have to just sort of put yourself out there and just go for it and be, be a little bit big in your presentation for yourself, I think. I don't have the luxury of looking in their eyes. So what I'm looking for is something behind the voice that they're doing. Like, is this character fleshed out? Is there something in the voice that says, there's a little bit more depth to this character? Basically, is it, is it, could it be a real person, human? Yes, they have this ridiculous voice and yes, they're playing a dolphin or whatever. But beneath the dolphin, is there something about it that strikes me as, as real and true? That was, that's what I would say, because that's the big mistake I think a lot of people make is they just think it's all about silly voices. Please subscribe to Verite VoiceOver on YouTube! And I was like, yeah, that's the one. And I said, who is it? She goes, yeah, it's Tara Strong. And I was like, <laughs> I, I mean, I've known Tara, I've worked with her, I've known her for years. I could not believe 